group that embodied the two extremes of the Seattle sound. Green River was actually hugely influential. I think they were the, for sure, the beginnings of what came later. They really sort of crystallized the scene. Green River frontman Mark Arm and guitarist Steve Turner had staunch indie ideals. Guitarist Stone Gossard and bassist Jeff Ament had arena-sized ambitions. Part of the band was a real glammy looking and acting, and the other part of the band was like real punk and raw. A little bit of metal here and there. There's that grunge influence thing again, whatever that is. The conflict symbolized the scene's dueling influences and foreshadowed the turmoil success would bring. It split Green River in half. Some of the musicians wanted to go further toward the pop metal side, particularly Jeff Ament. They just wanted to try to make it music one way or another, you know? But, I mean, we never did. I mean, there was definitely a difference in opinion, for sure, and Green River fell apart because of that. Staying true to their punk rock roots, Mark Arm and Steve Turner formed Mud Honey. Mud Honey was Mark Arm's attempt to get back to the pop punk side of things. I thought, well, this Mud Honey band, now that's right up my alley. I can relate to that totally. They helped bring back the elements of tight songwriting and sardonic wit. We thought Mud Honey was just going to be another little short-lived project and maybe get a maybe single out. Single, yeah. And then I'd go back to school. <laughs> it was, that, that was the plan. <laughs> you yeah. never did. Stone Gossard and Jeff Ament began playing with Malfunction's flamboyant frontman Andy Wood. Eventually, they formed a band called Mother Love Bone.